in the government. Pakistan's interim government is engaged in finalizing legal formalities to secure the repatriation of its prisoners languishing for years in jails outside the country. Islamabad is considering to ratify the Council of European Convention on the Transfer of Sentenced Persons, which would help the country to legally seek the repatriation of Pakistani prisoners from abroad, particularly from the U.S. The continuing public protest against the U.S. for sentencing and jailing Pakistani citizen Dr. Afia Sadiqi on the charges of terrorism is one of the main reasons behind Islamabad's proposed decision to ratify European Convention, to which Washington is also a party. These are very positive steps and they have been long been waited for. If I would say the most important case of Pakistan, this is the one. She is a woman. She has been wrongly implicated in a fabricated case just to defend FBI and CIA, their wrongdoings, how they have taken custody of the woman along with three children. They renditioned her to Afghanistan, kept her in various prisons. Dr. Afia was allegedly kidnapped by Pakistan intelligence agencies in 2003 along with her three children and handed over to the U.S. She was allegedly tortured and raped at background prison by U.S. agents near Kabul before her trial in 2010 by a New York court which sentenced her for 86 years for attempting to kill CIA agents during her detention in Afghanistan. An estimated 10,000 Pakistanis are alleged to have been kidnapped by country's intelligence agencies and many among them were illegally handed over to the U.S. Pakistan has a strong leverage upon the U.S., blocking the NATO supply line and withholding intelligence in so-called war on terror could possibly pressurize the U.S. to repatriate Dr. Afia Sadiqi. Analysts say that the incoming government of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif needs a strong political will to bring back Pakistanis from illegal U.S. custody. Javed Rana, Press TV, Islamabad.